Well, we know today that there is a big one, Liverpool versus Man City, and I had to do the combined 11, and I'm here to present you the combined 11 of Liverpool versus Manchester City. It's a Sunday, hope you guys are really having fun wherever you go, go to church and say a prayer. If I told you, you feel like you're not comfortable with going to church, stay at home, pray from home, the rest will be history. Rock and David is my name, smash like button, comment and share. If I told you you're watching us for the very first time, endeavor to subscribe to this channel so as not to miss out on stories that we do upload in here on a daily. Rock and David is my name initials you can call me rd and don't really forget to subscribe to this channel so as not to miss out on stories that we do upload in here on a daily and it's really one of those most important days as a sunday big game Aston went ahead to win by three goals to two yesterday and now it's in the hands of either liverpool or man city to sit it that one of those goes on top by winning the game of football today if they don't win the game of football today nothing is really gonna go into their favor arsenal will be topping the league now let's go <coughs> to the combined 11. the muslims barak lafikum and see who gets into the combined 11. i really put in this disclaimer if a player is injured don't expect him to be part of this combined 11. that is it if the player is injured he's not gonna be part of this combined 11. That is what I really wanted to let you know. Now, the system is a 4-3-3 system because these two managers play that system. Then, in goal, Alison Becker is a doubt today. So, if Alison Becker is out, then there is no contention. Kahela cannot really compete with uh, Alison Becker. I get Alison Becker into the goal of this combined 11, and no doubt about that. If Alison Becker was available, he would have gone ahead to be the um he would have gone ahead to be the one in goal right back trent alexander arnold is out of this fixture so liverpool are really having guys uh, the guy is called bradley in the right back position or gomez and man city is fronting kyle walker on any day i tell you i go with kyle walker if at all trent alexander arnold is really out i go with kyle walker in there for you kyle walker playing as a right back for the side of um for the side of this combined 11. We go to the left back position. <clears throat> Man City have Jesko Vadio, his feet. They have Nathan Ake, his feet. They also have, who else plays there? Sergio something, Sergio Gomez, who he has never gone ahead to feature for this club, especially in big games like this. So, Liverpool having Smiskas, his feet, <laughs> and Robertson, his feet. Now, Liverpool's Liverpool's first choice left back is Miskas and um, Man City's first left back is Nathan Ake. Nathan Ake versus Robertson, you all know where we go with. We go with Robertson. To me, he has been consistent for all the time. He has gone ahead to play into the league. He is consistent and year after year, season after season, you expect the same things from him and that's what really makes him a special brand or caliber of a player. That is... Alison Baker putting in that shift. Sorry, that is uh, Robertson and is playing in as that left back. We go to <clears throat> um, we go to the left-sided centre back for this starting eleven. You know, left-sided centre back. Obviously, um, there is a uh, Konate. Konate is injured, by the way. Konate is injured, and I think that really gives Ruben Diaz a very good goal without competition into this position because uh Konate would have gone ahead to put up a very good challenge to really get him out of this team but i think it is really 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 one of those moments that you really come out and appreciate that if at all Konate is out then what stops you from really being the main man in there for you but before we go to that ruben diaz side let's first get it into the right-sided center back right-sided center back john stones versus virgil van dyck guys let's be considerate virgil van dyck is next to none in any combined 11 in the league virgil van dyck gets in even if that of arsenal and saliba sorry that of gabriel magales and saliba this guy gets in on the left side with konate injured there is no way obviously coming through to really miss out on this guy that is Ruben Diaz. So that is my back four. 
that is my back four now when you go to liverpool their cdm is endo and the cdm of man city is rodri and we all know that rodri is the best CDM in the world in the world and he gets into that position and gets go you know one competes with rodri into that position and the other two sets of midfielders so basla has been out if it came in through before so basla really get an injury i think that so basla gets into this 11 but so basla has been struggling recently let's all admit and man city has been having two midfielders are really elite you know to get in macalista has been struggling also and um i think so basla and macalista cannot go ahead of these two players they cannot go ahead of these two players as we speak right now phil foden and kevin de Bruyne. they don't they cannot really go ahead of those so i really think it's really gonna be one of those moments to come into and really capitalize onto that and really have a midfield three months it have gonna hate to win all the midfield positions in there for you because kevin de Bruyne is on fire you saw him winning them the manchester derby scoring a brace kevin de Bruyne no doubt best central attack midfielder in the world liverpool needs to do a lot and put in a lot of effort to get these things really going now on the right forward mancia having bernardo silva julian alves and very many others but liverpool have the best right forward in the world and he goes by the names of mohammed salah if you doubt doubt it by yourself but facts have gone ahead obviously show us that that guy is really great on the left forward position man city is having jeremy doku and um jack grealish but jack grealish is out so they're left with um doku and doku was rested by the game they played in the midweek against copenhagen meaning that the manager has a huge plan for him in this beautiful game that is going to be played at Anfield. So, Diaz versus um, Diaz versus Jeremy Doku. Who do you go with? I think I go with Diaz. I go with Diaz. Currently, Diaz is really in epic form, and um, Doku is a good player, but he really had a drop off ever since he really returned from injury. I've been retaliating that a lot. So we go to the center forward. Haaland is the center forward for Man City. They also have another one known as Julian Alaves, you know. And when you look at Haaland and Alaves and Julian Alvarez, they've gonna hate to play very many games. And when you look at Julian Alvarez, he has gonna hate to play. Um he has gonna hate to play 27 games in the Premier League. He has eight goals and eight assists. Haaland has gonna hate to play 22 games, 18 goals and five assists. Meaning that for the side of for the side of Liver, as for the side of Man City, we are gonna pick Haaland as the man they are fronting to face Dowen Nunes, the center forward of Liverpool. When you look at Dowen Nunes, <coughs> when you look at Dowen Nunes. Um, Doan was going to play 25 games, 10 goals, and 7 assists, meaning that Erling Haaland is going to hit to score uh, 8 goals more than him. He's been he's one of those people that are going to hate to miss out on very many chances, and I think that's why you said it that some people are really pissed about him because he has going to hate to miss out on very, very many chances in there for you, and that is Doan Nunes coming in through. So, these two Haaland and Doan Nunes. Who do you guys go for? Obviously, I'm gonna go for this guy. I'm gonna go for this guy. Shot number nine of Man City, and that is none other than Erin Haaland. So that is my combined 11. And who do you think should be the manager? You know? Who do you think should be the manager of this team? Who is gonna manage it? There is something I'm looking here for to obviously bring it to you here and really see why i'm gonna really come out and really say the manager now for jagen klopp we all admit that he's a manager who came in through in the wrong timing right if he came in through when pep Guardiola was not in the premier league 
Jag and Klopp would have gone ahead to really win very many trophies in there for you. But because he's facing the best manager in the world, the best manager in the world has gone ahead to obviously stop him from really doing exactly what he's supposed to be doing by not winning the required number of trophies in there for you. So for Klopp, he's really a very good manager. But him being a very good manager doesn't really stop him from really accepting that Pep Guardiola, right? that Pep Guardiola is the best manager in the world. And for this combined 11, it's all about Pep Guardiola getting into that. And there is a quote that went ahead to put up towards the game of Man City versus... Um, versus uh, Liverpool that he is the best manager in the world, right? I'm just looking for it such that you people get to know that I'm really coming out to really tell you that he's the best manager in the world because even the guy responsible for this Liverpool side has gone ahead obviously come out and say the same and here it is please show some let me show you what this guy had to say about the manager So, this is what Jagen Klopp had to say. <clears throat> Klopp said, Pep is the best manager in the world in my lifetime. He is the outstanding manager. The way he influenced football, many trophies won, but he behaves like he's never won anything. The desire is outstanding. I see excellency. Pep is definitely that. So, he's really giving him his props and I was going to take them. And I think we all now admit that who is the manager for this team it's none other than pep guardiola so that is my combined 11 i don't know what your thoughts are about it but i'm returning with the player ratings for the side of arsenal as they took on the side of of um, brentford where they left the game late and arsenal are seated on top of the premier league table with 64 points if anything doesn't go in favor of any of those teams arsenal will be on top of the table and the elephant will be back on top of the tree me out